Hey YouTube, we're here with the Arrow Commander. If you're watching the last video, we were talking about different batteries. You saw when the I came and had to land without uh, a nose gear because I lost one of my little wheel nuts or whatever you want to call those things. Just going to give you a quick video on how to fix that. Obviously, my component was lost and that's annoying because these are different size than these so and I'm not sure why Horizon leaves so much play on there when I put these together I always put them really tight like that because it doesn't allow them to to accelerate into the wheel nut so in my experience it's better to have them tight like this so I'll just show you what I do to fix that I just take and put one drip of CA just a just a kiss a kicker and then that thing will stay put really well. Okay, same thing on this side. It's just going to shift that over. That helps to keep the mains from reverberating too, which is kind of nice. Okay, one little kiss of kicker, and then done. Okay, very simple. But now let's talk about the main, the, the nose gear really, the main problem today. Um, the little black thing got lost. I don't have one that size without sacrificing from another plane and so I think what I might try first is just the simple keep it simple stupid which I'm not good at I'm good at keeping it simple once I've tried the complicated difficult part okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until this is hot enough to yep it's hot enough to and now I'm gonna go ahead and peel that out grab some garbage so I can really make sure that there's nothing on the tip okay in fact I'll probably use a paper towel for that Make sure the tip's clean, it'll help. So now, this is a two-step process that's very simple. We're basically making a wheel nut. You're gonna take this, you're gonna hold it tight, and then you're gonna come up here. You're gonna pull the trigger and just get it so it just pops out a little teeny bit of glue. Then you're gonna slide it up and you're gonna leave it about where you think you want it. In fact, you're gonna bump the wheel and then you're going to pull it out quick, and you're going to grab it and pull the string, and you're going to leave it. And you're going to seriously not mess with it for a second. Just let it sit up. Set up. Now, I don't know if I got enough material on there that time, but we'll see in just a second. You can see I've got that chunk of glue there now. Now it should be should be cool now so now you can just take and just kinda grab that hot glue and just kinda force the wheel away from it yep see there it goes now it's broke free so that's really all you would have to do to make another wheel nut but ideally what you can do now to make it a two-step process is take this thing and try to slide it in so you'll take the glue and just try to slip it. And see it's not wanting to slip which is a good thing. But you can actually take that glue and force it to spin. You see? And then you can treat it just like you would have treated the original part. But I actually don't like the way that turned out. I'm gonna do that again. And I'm gonna do it a little bit better. Now the other thing you can do that works really sharp too, but it's a little bit trickier, you can take some cotton or some string and you can take and wrap it around this, this device, okay? We're going to do it without the wheel. And you're thinking, what? You're going to do it without the wheel? How are you going to get the wheel on? Well, just trust me. We'll get there, guys. Very simple setup. Now once you get it started around there, you can just take and kind of spin it around with your fingers. I've got a little bit too much cotton there, so I'm just going to grab it and pull off the excess. Okay? Just like this, very simple. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to push that tight up against the other side. And you're just going to kind of try to make it about like the other side. Okay? I'm just going to show you these two methods, and you make up your mind which one works better for you. Obviously, the hot glue is very simple. Okay, so then you're going to take your, your glue, 
you're going to give it, of course, there's a big bubble that time. You're just going to get that CA in there. Now, this isn't foam safe CA, so I want to try to avoid getting that on the foam. One big drip. Okay, once we get a big drip, we're going to take our kicker. We're going to come in here just behind it, and we're just going to spray. Just like that. I'm just going to set that stuff up. Uh, I'm just knocking everything down today, guys. I literally knocked it down after I moved it from knocking it down. Lick your fingers so they don't stick, and then just make sure it's round. While it's still sort of halfway setting up, okay? You see? And it spins. Which is not a desirable effect for the finished product, but it's nice right now. Okay, so now that we've kind of got that situated, now, that thing has basically got the exact prop shaft size, or not prop shaft. This would be a landing gear. So now what we need to do is we need to take that thing and we need to hypothetically do some shaping on it. Okay, so we can move our hot glue gun aside as well. Get that out of the way. Got caught under that wheel, guys. All right, so take your knife, make sure it's nice and sharp. And you're gonna take and cut where it's pretty much as wide as you'd want it to be, okay? Now you notice it's not cutting worth a darn, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this knife that we use for heating, and we're gonna get this knife really hot. So we're gonna lay this torch down on the ground, we're going to heat up this blade really, 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 really hot till it's glowing. This is my other, my other X-Acto knife. I've also got one of these that I use with a bend in it. Okay, shut the heat off. Come back up, keep it nice and hot. And cut it. Okay, see how we have a nice clean cut now? You have to be really, really hot with your blade though. Okay, glowing red. Cut it. Just like that, guys. Cut it. Just like that. Cut it. Okay? Very simple. Okay? So now we have a flat surface, which is what we want to act as the bushing or the wheel nut or whatever you want to call that thing. So now what I'm going to do, I'll get you guys a focused look at it. Pull this off, and you, you're thinking, no, 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 pull it off. It's never going to go back on. Well, i got to get the wheel on. Lay this aside. Grab that little chunk. Just kind of clean that junk off of there. And you may find that that works easier with an X-Acto knife. You definitely do not want to leave this stuff here. It'll cause resistance on the nose wheel. Something you don't want might not be bad on the mains actually because then it would slow the plane down a little better but the problem is then you're going to also slow down when you're trying to take off and that will result in really hokey looking takeoffs okay so we'll just get that that's mostly cleaned off okay now you could also take this out of the plane I guess I didn't really consider that until just now which is sort of embarrassing spinning roughly right now, so we still have a little bit of material on there. Okay, so once that's totally done, you'll basically be able to spin it free. It still feels like there's a little material, so I'm going to take my sharp blade this time. Oh yeah, there's some right there. There's probably some on the back that I can't see too. Okay, so we'll lay that down. Now it's spinning free. Okay, so then you can take this pseudo wheel nut that we just designed and built from scratch. 
and we can go ahead and glue that on. But you'll notice that it's sticking out the end, okay? So why is that a problem? Well, it's a bit of a problem because you want to be able to get some glue on here so that it'll hold. So a couple different ways you can do that. I think one way we're going to have to take and I had glued this inside. Um, by the way, don't drop this thing. It's going to be like impossible to find. I had glued this inside already, but I think I want to take that out. It's super easy to do that. You can just take and use your knife to cut away the CA. Eventually it's going to be allowed to spin. Once it spins, like now, then you can take it all the way off. And I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to drop it. Just like I suspected I would. I'm going to take and just get up under the lip of CA and break that free. And I think the easier way would be with some scissors. Or side cutters, maybe. Okay, so just go onto the CA and just break it. And there it goes, it's gone. So, now, when we go to put this back together, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take and feed our homemade one on the inside. Oh, you know what I'm realizing, guys? Oh, yeah. There we go. So I just fed it through the, the same way. Okay, so now I can take that piece, and since it ended up being a little bit longer than I originally would have hoped, I'm just going to put it in like that. Grab my CA. Make sure it's clear, which it is. Grab a drip, drip a CA. And we'll just kind of form that into the little L there. Okay, very simple. One little kiss of kicker. I use my finger to catch it because this uh, this stuff will not respond well to kicker. It'll eventually start getting weird and coming off very easily. So try not to get a lot of kicker on there. Okay? Trust me. Take my word for it, please. Okay, so now that that's set up, we can test for freedom, which it's totally free. And we can go ahead and slide this piece back on from the other side. Now, I would say simple as that, except that was a humongous, humongous pain in the butt for such a small little plane. But guys, I should warn you. If you weren't already wholly aware of this, which if you've ever had a UMX, you are, UMX planes are kind of a pain to work with. They're very small, they're delicate, and they're awesome. So get ready to do this once in a while, okay? If you buy one, you will have this experience at some point. Now that being said, the average Joe probably won't fly them quite as much as me. So that will be one difference. Okay, so there you go, there you have it. So now I feel just a little teeny tiny bit of resistance, but I think that's gonna, that's gonna be no problem at all in the grand scheme of things. So anyway guys, thanks for going through that ridiculous process with me. Hopefully you won't have the same problem I did of having this thing break off. And the other thing, too, you can do is, yeah, I mean, if you want to take this thing out, it's, it's so easy to take out. You just basically just pull straight out. It's kind of a scary thing to do. But once you're out, you can take and further refine the shape here. And the way, and the way I would normally encourage you to do something of that sort would be to grab your hot blade. Make sure you don't catch anything on fire above you. Get that tip really super duper hot like this and then just shape it see 
And then when you're all done, you can take and uh, clean it up with just a little, little bit of marker. Marker's better than paint because paint's heavy. Marker's not. I'm just smoothing the edges. CA sometimes will get those nasty sharp edges and stuff. So you can just shape it. Works really sharp. So there you have it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.